I'm going to show you how to stencil a new design a uh, goat's head skull and a with a pair of dragons and a nice border. I've prepared a piece of black fabric for making the wool hanging. The material has been hemmed and there is a place for dowel to be slotted into the hem at the top and the bottom of the material. Next, I'm going to carefully tape down the fabric, making it as flat as possible. Okay, I'm going to first prepare the back of the stencil with a repositionable spray mount. I use 3M. I'm going to do some light sweeps across the back of the stencil. And that will make the surface sticky and we'll hold it in place. Okay, now we've um, got the back of the stencil nice and sticky. We'll very carefully line it up on the fabric. And get it square to make it look as good as it possibly can be. Um, the stencil is nice and firmly pressed down. Um, I have some fabric paint here and I don't want my brush too wet because if your brush is too wet it will spoil and seep underneath. So a nice dry brush. Now I'm going to cover the whole design with two layers of white fabric paint. This is the start of the first layer. This will form a base that will allow the colours I'm using to shine more brightly. Now the fabric's been completely covered with two thin layers of white. I've allowed the paint to dry thoroughly between each application and now it's ready for some colours. First a nice red border to frame the design. After the red border, I'm covering the rest of the design with a layer of pale metallic gold. Remember to keep the brush dry, otherwise there is a danger of paint seeping under the stencil and spoiling the design. Here I'm shading the edges of the shapes with a darker copper colour. I've decided to highlight the eyes in red. The exciting part is removing the stencil to reveal what is underneath. It's looking good. Finally I'm going to embellish it with some hand painting. For this I am using an eyeliner brush from a Christmas cracker. The brown paint is watered down, flows easily and doesn't show on the black fabric. It enhances the shapes and hides any white blemishes. I'm using a contrasting colour on the horns and skull. This will make them stand out and give them a sinister green tinge. A little bit of brown shading and the hanging is complete. The stencil I used to create this wall hanging is available in the new gothic section on the Stencil Kingdom website.